Welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. I've gotten a lot of comments on my other video for Spitfire Audio Labs where I had taught everyone how you could install this free labs application and get all of these free sample packs along with it. And of course, a few months after that video came out, Spitfire Audio has changed their product and their business model uh, in a couple different ways. And it's not necessarily a bad thing so long as we can continue to use the labs application that was provided for the free samples as well as the free samples, then we should still be in the clear. But it seems like a lot of people are having difficulty with this. So I'm going to provide some instructions and you let me know in the comments below if this helps you. But the first thing I want everyone to go to is labs.spitfireaudio.com. So this is where you would have originally gotten the labs application and it looks completely different. There's a whole revamp on the branding. There's a revamp on the labs application now known as labs plus, but here's the way that you can go and install labs. So you can click try free down here or up here. And this might deter you at first because it's saying, okay, if you want to try for 14 days and then subscribe, you go ahead and click get started. But if you're just looking for the free application, at least for what I'm aware of, you can continue to get that by doing continue without subscribing. And then it's going to give you the download for Labs for Mac or Labs for Windows. And I'm signed into my account right here. So you might get prompted with a screen for you to sign up. Go ahead and sign up. It's a free account for you to be able to go ahead and download this application. All right. And then you can download the installer. And if you click on it, it's going to download into your downloads folder or wherever you have your downloads stored. And then when you click on the installer, you can see right here, Spitfire Audio Labs. And it gives you the option to download standalone AU, VST, VST3, and AAX versions. So this is going to install the actual plugin that you're going to open up in your DAW, such as Reaper. As always, as using the lab samples, the VSTs in your DAW, or whatever plugin version you're using in your DAW, you also need to make sure you have the Spitfire Audio app. You can get that at spitfireaudio.com. And the Spitfire Audio app, this is where you're going to download this app, and you're going to manage your plugin packs. So all those free plugin packs I had talked about in my previous video, you'll still be able to access here. At least I'm not aware that they've removed any that were free or altered them from free versions to paid versions. And to show that, we go back to labs, you click on the packs tab, and here you should be able to see the ones that are free. So ambient guitars, that's one that I had shown previously, that's free. There's Mika's Choir, there's a number of other free packs, you just keep scrolling down for the free ones. Now the ones that you're going to need the subscription for Labs Plus for, it's going to indicate Labs Plus. And if you want to see all the ones that require the subscription or the Labs Plus model, go ahead and click this filter right here. And these are all the ones that you would get if you had subscribed with that monthly subscription. But again, you can still download the Spitfire Audio app. You can still download or I should say install these free sample packs in the Spitfire Audio app. And based on what I've seen with the Labs installer, you should still be able to pull up these plugins, the AU, the VST, whichever version you're using in your DAW, such as Reaper, Pro Tools or Ableton. And then you should be able to load those free sample packs in free labs application in your DAW. So that's how I would go about downloading and installing Spitfire Labs. If I don't already have it installed, please try it this way. Again, make sure you have the Spitfire Audio app to manage your libraries, your samples, and go to labs, spitfireaudio.com, try for free, bypass the subscription if you don't want to subscribe right now, continue without subscribing, log in or sign up, then select your download, then go to your download installer, install it, and then open your DAW and make sure that you rescan for new plugins if you need to for your DAW, load it up onto a track and you should be able to see it there. So like for example, going to Reaper, you can go to Reaper settings, go all the way down to plugins, VST, rescan, rescan VST paths for new modified plugins. This application or this plugin gets installed in typical paths that you would expect plugins to be installed. So I can go ahead and click this, right? If you need to add a path list for some reason, you installed this somewhere other than these typical paths, then go ahead and add the exact path where it was installed. But then you click rescan, it'll go through, it'll go through all of those folders where all all your plugins are stored, scan them all, find anything new, such as labs. All right, so once you rescan for new plugins and you've brought that plugin into your DAW, double click or create a new track, and then we'll search for Spitfire or labs, and then you can double click on the application and open it up, and you should be good to go. If you're having any issues with using the free version of labs or using the free samples, please let me know in the comments below. If you're looking for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to subscribe to my email list down below. You'll also get my seven steps to a pro level mix PDF absolutely free. Again, thank you for joining the ultimate mix down. I'll see you in the next video.